Hello, Dr. Frog here, and in this video, we are going to be getting some dividend information from the interwebs using Python. Now, there I can't find any decent free APIs to do this, so we're going to have to resort to using web scraping, which I admit is not an optimal solution before anyone starts moaning. But here we go. Right, so uh, first things first, uh, go to the link in the doobly-doo, download this tickers.csv file if you would like to follow along with this video exactly as I do it. Uh, if, if not, if you already have your list of things you want to get, then that's fine. But here's a list for you. I've prepared it myself. Here's one I made earlier. Does anyone get that reference? Probably not. I don't know. Um, right. So, and then we've got the main.py file as well. So, uh, I've already taken the liberty of creating some basic methods. These methods, if you've seen my videos before, uh, would be very familiar to you um, if you if you haven't seen them before and you would like to know more about these methods and specifically you know write them yourself uh, see my stocks a csv file uh, video and yeah that should be it i think this one might not be in that video but we'll explain them briefly now just so you know what's going off okay so this is a get tickers method all this is doing is reading from our csv file and then it's iterating over them, appending them to a list, and then returning that list so that we can iterate over them without having to worry about uh, reading from the CSV file. Then we have a two CSV file uh, method. This takes um, a list of dictionaries, um, and then it turns that into a CSV file. So we could have a dictionary that has the ticker as one of the field in the dictionary, and then the price in another, and it would create a, a CSV file with a load of tickers on one column and a load of prices on the next column. Ooh, that's nice. And then this other one here is a get soup method. All this is doing is creating a beautiful soup uh, object that we can use to scrape data from. Ooh, um, when we pass it a URL, it's dead simple. Like I say, that I've, I've made other videos on these before, so we're not going into these in too much depth, but there we go. Right, uh, let's uh, get us started. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to type in if name is equal to underscore main underscore cheeky cheeky, uh, then we want to iterate over the tickers. So let's do, uh, we need to actually say, we need to create a little list Right, we're gonna we're gonna fill this list with all sorts of wonderful dividends. Uh, There's gonna be you know Python uh, dictionary objects, a list of those. We're gonna do for tickers in get tickers. Now I'm only gonna do the first five because like there's no point in having you watch the entire thing or me wasting time doing a cut later. Uh, we can just do five; it'll be totally fine. We're going to do tickers append. And then we're going to have a method, we'll call it, I don't know, get data or something like that. Probably a terrible name. We're going to pass in the ticker to that. And then after we've done all that, we're just going to say to CSV. Uh, and then we'll pass in those dividends. So we'll have a lovely little CSV file called dividends.csv at the end of this uh, here video. Ooh. Okay, so obviously what we need to do now is we just need to actually write the get data method so we can do get data pass in a ticker and then we need to uh, get the URL so we actually need to figure out where we're getting the data from so uh, we're getting the data from uh, this little place here it's called London Southeast it's a lovely little website link will be in the description uh, as usual my usual example is United Utilities and what we're going to do is we're going to take the first bit of this URL, so all the way up to the ticker, so where it says share price equals, we're going to take that, and we're going to stick that in our little thing, and oh god, this looks terrible because I've got a transparent terminal window. I do apologise, didn't mean to hurt you, but there we go. We'll look at the website first, and then we'll go on and do the other stuff. So, we have uh, a list of market data here, um, and what we're looking for is the dividend, and we're also going to get the yield as well, the dividend yield. Um, so how do we do this? Well, we need to be able to select these elements on on the page. So first thing I'd do is just quickly count how many rows there are. And there are seven. Well, there is the, is that, uh, I wonder if they count that as a row or if that's a header. I don't know. We can find out. We can use the inspect. So right click inspect, have a look. Uh, uh, yeah, it is a header. So, but really we want to be looking at, uh, so, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so 
index five and index six is what we're going to be looking for. So if you think about, we're getting this table, we're going to get it um, with the elements in it um, as a list. So start with zero, th one, and then we find the fifth one. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so we first need to find the table though. So the way we do that is we're going to look for the class. The class name is here. Save this for later. And I suspect that the class name is actually probably shared across these two tables at least. Uh, and they're probably different tables, so we can have a look. And oh yeah, okay, so so these these tables all have the same class. So what we need to do is we need to say, find me the tables with this class, and I only want to get what will it be? Zero, one. So find me the one with the index one, and then find me the things I want from there. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got the stuff we need to get. Let's uh, go away now. Okay, so I don't know why that's open. Okay, so we know what we're doing. Let's uh, have a look at doing what I just said to do. Okay, so uh, we need to get soup object. How do we do that? Well, if only we created a method earlier, we can do that. Uh, also, I should point out, you can download the code from the uh, description. If you wanted to start off, you could just get all the bits and then, you know, write along with the video so you can learn stuff. Um, we are going to uh, create our code or, or encapsulate our code in a try accept block for the simple reason that we might not find the dividend information. And I don't want to bother doing like loads of if checks to check if the object is available or not. Um, you know, if something's null or non in Python. So we're just going to do a try accept. And if, if we hit an exception, any blind exception, we're going to be like, oh, there's no dividend information for that stock. You might be able to make, you'll probably be able to do better versions yourself because it's just a quick little video. Uh, I don't want to go too much into stupid little things that really aren't to do with the video. Then, you know, you can do that. Um, so first thing, we're going to create a little variable called table. We're going to call the soup.findAll method. So find underscore all. Pass in what we're looking for. We are looking for a table with the attributes. And this is a little object. Uh, and this is going to have the class that we saved earlier. Oh, I've saved the wrong thing. Did I put it on another clipboard somewhere? Uh, yes, I did. I have it over here. I'm a clown. There we go. Oh, look at that. That was smooth. Okay, so now we have a thing called table. And so using the find all methods, what we do is we get back uh, a list of elements that all match these things. So it matches a table with the class this. And because of, of course we know that we have three of them that we could potentially find, we only want to get the one with the first index. So there we go. Um, now we need to get the dividend. So how do we do that? Well, we just you know call something dividend like this. I can't type. Uh, and we then say table uh, find all. And what we're looking for, of course, is the table rows, so they're TR. And we're looking for the one with the index 5. And then we need to be looking for the first uh, table cell, so that's TD. TD is the table is table cell in HTML. Uh, the interior of those table rows, I forgot to show you, but it is literally just a table header and a table cell table cell is TD we only need to get that so we need to do that and then we can call text on it um, now I should point out if you were looking to do some mathematical operations on the dividend variable here uh, you would need to actually cast this to an appropriate uh, numerical type because at the moment it's just a string but for the purpose of this video of course we are just sending it to a CSV file so then we want to get the dividend yield, which of course we can just do, oh my god, what the hell happened there? We can just do the uh, exact same thing again, set for say div yield, like this. And instead of saying five, we can say numero six. Ooh. Okay, uh, and then we've got the information we want, so we can say, uh, you know, just print out some sort of login statement so we can see what's happening. Because uh, this is going to be a, a process that runs for a couple of minutes if we were to do all 250 odd stocks in my file. Do that. And then what we need to do is we need to return a dictionary object. So we can say return uh, ticker. Obviously, that's just going to be the ticker. And then we can say dividend. Of course. Oh my god. Uh, that is going to be uh, da, 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 the dividend. And then uh, we'll just type yield. 
here and then dividend yield here. The reason we can't um, call div yield uh, yield in Python is because yield is a, a reserve keyword. Um, so that's that's why I didn't put yield when I put dividend yield, just in case you were wondering. Of course, we've got to also close out our cheeky little accept block, try accept block, and we can just do something here and we can just say something like no information available for and then just give it the ticker and then we can just see which ones we got information for and which ones we didn't and nice and easy lemon squeezy easy peasy um, and that looks all good to me but as usual I'm going to run it and almost certainly there will be some calamitous mistake because that is in every single video I ever make the first time we run the program so here we go three two one bang there is I put gets, not, oh, get, oh, you know what though? This will have been code I stole from other projects I did. So we might have written it, so it would be perfect for the code we actually wrote. Or this get data method might be all perfect. Ooh, okay, so we'll count this is the first time I'm running it. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, something's gone tits up. Okay, that's not right, that's not right. We've got no information available for it. It means that something is going drastically wrong here, and I'm not sure what it is yet. So the way we're going to have to do this, ironically, is to get rid of our uh, try accept block. So the way we can do that is we can do a little comment there. We can come down here, and we can do a little comment here, and we can do a little comment here as well. Do that. And then we need to move the entire thing slightly sideways. Up one, sideways a bit. And we'll get the error messages now. That's part of the problem because I didn't actually like, log any errors properly. But here we go. We will see. The thingy is out of range. Why? Why is it out of range? It most certainly should not be out of range. I can tell you why it's out of range right now. There is a calamitous mistake. And it's dead obvious. I've just seen it. It is that we've just said get soup URL. But what we should have said is get soup URL plus the ticker. Because obviously all we're doing at the moment is just getting this empty web page with no ticker at the end. We need a ticker. Okay, so it wasn't perfect. As usual, there was a calamitous error. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes! Okay, that looks like it's worked. Like I said, it's going to do the first five for us. If we quit out of Vim a second, clear the terminal, we can have a look. We should have ls. We should have a look at that. We've got a new file. It's called dividends.csv. We can have a look at that. And oh, look at that. It's got the data that we wanted. Okay, so a uh, bit of a calamitous video, I know, but that's that's usual for me. Uh, so yes, hopefully you've enjoyed that. That's all we're going to do in this video. Uh, if you need any help or, you know, don't understand anything I've said, leave a comment and I will answer it as quick as possible. Uh, you know, subscribe for more. This is the standard YouTuber spiel. Meh. I've run out of things to say. Arrivederci. Tata for now. Toodle pip. Bye bye. Okay, bye.